All right, right into day two, which of course starts at lot 1000, uh, Sunday at 10 a.m. We've got uh, brand new Vitamix. We've got these uh, specials, uh, just a bunch of small wares and stuff comes in. We, we kind of just throw it into bowls, take a picture uh, and, and lot it up for you. We've got this really heavy duty uh, aluminum cookware. You can't even buy this stuff anymore, literally. The uh, uh, company could not get you guys to pay the top dollar for it. So they've gotten rid of everything that's a quarter inch 3004 aluminum and now you've got all the stuff like this thermal alloy which is all one eighth but of course um, you can still go pay full price you can still pay quarter inch price at uh, Russell for it if you like we've got uh, a lot of small wares lots of uh, knives and uh, check out this nice little Somerset dough sheet just uh, drop your dough across here Drop your filling in and go whoop, and she's a turnover for you. I, when I saw that, I almost picked it up, made, it, made the guy an offer, picked it up, and walked out and became a turnover maker. I said, that's it, I'm packing it up. I don't like this business anymore. Too hard. This work is way too hard. Way too hard. We got brand new Delfield one door under counter back here, and we've got a lot of scratches in. Like this unit, like uh, it's a few few scratches on top, but Delfield's top of the line. That's a 1500. Granted, you probably would never have paid that anyway, but um, it is, it's a very, very good brand. That's what Starbucks puts in every single one. Uh, we still have to cut the locks off this one. Long story. But yeah, we'll get we'll get those we'll get those zip cut. We don't have the key for it, unfortunately. This one only has two racks. It's a true. Uh, two-door refrigerator, and that's a, these are the TS-49s. So these, this one has a six racks. Um, these actually uh, have the full stainless steel interior, which is a bit different. EFI 3 comp with the right drain board. That, of course, it's CSA. We wouldn't sell it if it didn't, unless it was really well used and somebody wanted it for like a, a uh, garage or something. Got uh, Spec Series one-door cooler. This one's a bit uh, worn, well used. We've got a true freezer here. This is a T49 with the, your standard sort of white interior. Um, and that's just a few years old. That's a really nice unit. We've got brand new US Inc. one door display. We've got a lot of refrigeration over here. This sale has a ton of refrigeration. Beverage air, two door mechanical freezer. Lots more induction pots, lots more small wares. Stacks of brand new aluminum bun pans and inserts. And, and yeah, all that stuff. All that good stuff. I uh, got a Delfield. This is a worktop cooler. This is what uh, a major coffee company who we do a lot of business with put their Turbo Chef ovens on, or at least they did. They changed the configuration. Uh, so they need a different mounting kit. You can just take that off, and, and this still has the extra heavy top on it, so you can put some really, really heavy equipment on it. This is uh, brand new Royal. It's got all the accoutrement, meaning the, the casters and the pan rack uh, hanging from underneath. This is the six burner range, um, RR-6. And uh, we saw earlier these structural concepts cases, a couple 33 inch and uh, 27 inch. This is the ambient display. Uh, would, the, would that they were all refrigerated with the curved glass, but unfortunately no, this is a dry case. And, and this is the open merchandiser. Uh, this is a Frosty Factory, um, whatever they are. We gave you the model number. I, I guess they're from Margaritas. The 60, because they came from Cormac and Schmidt, all this uh, continental refrigeration is all from 2015. This is uh, one of uh, the best brands. Uh, they have a couple different series, but this is the heavy series. So 60 inch worktop, looks like another 60 inch worktop. Uh, lots more small wares. Some of it we're still in the process of opening and lotting. Uh, we've got this nice ice head, uh, 2015, on top of a bin that is arguably less desirable, a little rusty around the edges, a little dirty. Um, we've got uh, Garland 60 inch range, 36 inch griddle, uh, 36 inch or six burners. Um, and we didn't get, have a chance to clean it up, so we've been very busy. We've got uh, eight pan countertop silver king. This is the one I mentioned earlier. This one's a little more well used. Used blender, more new stuff. Used furniture, uh, Continental 68 uh, inch, I think. Uh, pizza prep cooler, that's a really nice unit. Spotless Glow, this thing came in, it's a couple years old, but you wouldn't be able to tell because I don't think it got much use. It's a gorgeous unit. 36 under, uh, inch under counters, that's a, a, quite a rare, rare score. Everybody's looked for one at some point, thought, oh, 
It's pretty great, but you have to buy the, one of the top uh, brands because not many people sell, sell it. These actually, these drawers are actually, um, you can't put inserts in them. I just noticed that. They already have uh, their own drawer in them. It looks like it would still fit full size though, but it's cool because you could actually uh, still use it if you didn't have an insert for it. Uh, over here, I think I gave some bad information on this. Actually, these don't take bun pans. I'm not quite sure what they're for. They don't fit our toe pins and they don't fit our bun pans. So I don't know. Uh, kind of weird. Nice garment rack over here. Um, curved glass unit, used shelves. This is the compressor unit. It's an outdoor unit with a heater in it. So our friends in the interior could use this uh, and, and mount it remotely outside. Nice heavy stainless steel. Oh God, God these tables are heavy. Excuse me. Oh, nice stainless steel door on this. This actually, uh, what am I down here? Jeez, I hate it when this stuff happens in the middle of a video. That was turned sideways. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. These uh, units came out of uh, Marksburg Warehouse. We had seven of them. We sold a few retail for about $5,000 each. And we put some in the auction, but um, we don't have time to strip it down. Like I said, we've just been crazy busy. A lot going on. Renting a lot of equipment, selling a lot of equipment, trying to spend time with everybody who walks in the doors, challenging as that can be. 66 inch open merchandiser. Used to be a Starbucks unit. Um, uh, was bought from us a couple of years ago and has now come back uh, because they apparently been doing quite well and have upgraded. But it's a dual service, so you've got the, you know, you grab a drink downstairs and they were selling, you know, cream cheese, pickles, locks, that kind of thing out of the top. I cannot vouch for that unit. It arrived uh, with the refrigeration already disconnected. So I, it's labeled as untested. Somebody turned out the light on me back here, but uh, we've got back there some uh, questionable stuff. Again, all labeled as such. I'll tell you the deal on it, but there's the nicest mixer in the world, the P660 Hobart, which they no longer support. I found out to my dismay. I couldn't get the gear assemblies for it, so it's going to be for parts. The only thing that's good on it is the, the motor, and we're not putting the, the bowl and the whip because we can uh, use that at a later date. Um, real shame, Hobart. Your very old drive mixers suck and you're not passing on the savings to the customer, so for you, Hobart. But anyway, sorry, uh, t total tangent. Uh, I think we've covered everything. Um, again, it's, uh, it's going to be close to a thousand lots. We tried to get a thousand. I think we're going to fall a little bit short. But um, a little over 500 the first day, that's Saturday at 10 a.m. We open for viewing at 8. And um, tomorrow, today's Thursday, you can come in, or today's Wednesday, you can come in all day Thursday, all day Friday, and view from 9 till 3. And um, we'll try and stay a little late on Friday, catch the stragglers, they're always there. And then we're open again on 8 on each auction day. So you can come in and, and check everything out. And uh, of course, on day one, most of the Let's, let's face it, most of the good stuff is in day one, um, the really good stuff. You can always um, do your loading when you're at a gap in lots, you know, there's shopping around here. It's a long time. You can also just view and go home and bid at home in your underwear. Thanks. Bye.